Hello everyone. So today I'm going to be tying a fly that is as old as time and it's been around since before I was born. It's a hair and partridge, hair and gold now. I'm using it as a nymph. Really good river nymph, um, euro nymphing, nymph under dry, even tying it onto the end and using it as a point fly if you're swinging. So two core materials, partridge as you'll see I'm putting here in the tail and then hairs here for the body. So, I've got my partridge in there. I'm putting in some pink thread, which is going to be my rib, just to give it a little bit of colour in the body. Like so. That's glow bright number one if, if you want to be specific, but you don't have to be. Look, any pink rib's great, and it's fantastic even just with a, a wire rib or anything like that. So, now. We've just got hairs here dubbing for the body. You can use, you could use so many different things for this. You could use squirrel, you could use possum. It really doesn't matter, it's totally up to you. See, this fly is fished by so many people all over the world, and everyone ties it slightly differently. Some tie a partridge hackle, some tie a CDC hackle, some tie both. So, it's really whatever you like, and whatever you want to do will probably work best for you. So, there we go, I've tied my body in. Now I just actually, I um, I twist this glow bright when I wind it through just because I don't want it to flatten out too much. So I'll wind it through like so. Make sure you leave also a little bit of a gap there at the bead just so when you do tie in your a bit of peacock dubbing or something for the thorax or your hackle, it's got somewhere to go so it doesn't crowd the bead. Now collar. I'm just using some hens spectra dubbing. Any peacock dubbing is fantastic. It's really nice. This stuff teases out over time. It looks really good. So that's there. Now I'm just going to put in a partridge hackle. Now you could leave it like that. It looks fantastic. And this fly catches so many fish when the hackle's torn out. So you could leave it like that. But I'm just going to tie a little, a really small partridge hackle in. So I'm going to tie the tip in there. It's very important. You don't want to over... Like, this fly's a bushy fly as it is, which is great. But I don't like to overdress it, because the more you dress it, the slower it's going to sink. So I do actually want it to get down. Oh, as I drop that everywhere. So you really only need one or, or two turns of this here. Like so. Um, you don't want it, yeah, you don't want too much. But really, it's all about presentation. Get the fly in front of them. If you get anywhere, if you get that right bead colour and you get the right body and shape and everything, it'll be fantastic. And that's it, it there. So, just to finish, I'm going to do what I normally do and take a shortcut. So I apologise for good fly tyres out there. I'm just going to dab, <laughs> I'm not going to whip finish, I'm just going to dab super glue on the thread. And go a few wraps and then a half itch and that'll be super durable I mean let's be honest it's probably gonna end up in a tree or left in a fish's mouth or something so there it is super simple hair and partridge um, use it everywhere I hope you guys have a lot of success it's probably my best river fly but it's also my most fish river fly so enjoy and let me know what you'd like to see more of I'm stuck in quarantine still after New Zealand so yeah, please let me know what you'd like to see me tie if you have any questions because I have a lot of free time.